And then comes the modern world. In the movie Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, it concerns the Nazis seeking to find the Ark of the Covenant, believing that whatever nation had possessed that Ark would become unstoppable, would reign over nation. Now it's just a story, it's a fable, it's an adventure. But what I'm about to tell you is as if it were a story from Indiana Jones, but it's real. It doesn't involve the Ark of the Covenant, which is actually interesting. The Ark of the Covenant is linked to the altar of God, but it concerns the altar and throne of Satan. Begins at the end of the 19th century, or the latter part, when a European engineer in Turkey named Karl Humann discovers fragments of the throne of Satan, the altar of Zeus. He sends the fragments back to the land of the altar, back to the land where he came from. So the first pieces of what the Bible calls Satan's throne are sent to his land. What land was that? Germany. The year is 1871. The year 1871 is the, when the fragments arrive in Germany comes a turning point in the history of Germany. 1871 is the year that Germany as we know it comes into existence. The German Empire is born. That same year... Germany comes into possession of the land called Alsace-Lorraine. That possession is going to cause the greatest destruction in history, which is going to cause the First World War up to that time. It's the greatest thing. Begins then, the same year of the fragments coming back. Now, it takes time before they realize the significance of the fragments. In 1878, Karl Humann begins the excavating of the Pergamon altar, the altar of Zeus. Like the Ark of the Covenant in Indiana Jones, the throne of Satan is going to reappear in the modern world after centuries of lying in the ruins. The throne of Satan begins to be unearthed. The year 1878 marks the beginning of the unearthing, the uncovering, the resurrecting there. Very striking. Because 1878 also marks the beginning of something else. 1878 is the year that marks the birth of anti-Semitism. Same year. It is modern anti-Semitism is born in the year 1878, the same year that the throne of Satan begins a resurrection. And where is anti-Semitism born? In Germany. Same land that receives the altar of Satan. And that will be caught up soon in a satanic fury. The excavation will take place, will take eight years until 1886. The pieces are unearthed by German archaeologists, kind of like Indiana Jones, and transported back piece by piece to Germany. The altar is then reassembled in Germany in the capital city of Berlin. The altar, or the, the frieze of the altar, which is the altar there, is completed. The resurrection is completed in the year 1889. It will become a symbol of the new German empire, the power of that empire, except that power that the altar represents is a dark power a power that comes from paganism, and Germany will start metamorphosizing, will start transforming from one considered to be a nation considered to be civilized to the darkness of paganism. It will become, in a sense, a pagan, satanic nation for a time. And it was not only a, a, an altar, it's a throne embodying, the Bible calls it, the embodying the power of Satan. And so it was, it was said that, you know, what, where they first put it was inadequate, and, and not sound, they try to house it. So they decided to build a permanent housing for what was the throne of Satan. It was begun to house the altar. It was begun in 1910, permanent, large museum, temple. 1910, same year that they begin the work of this, 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 this building to house it. 1910 is the same year that a struggling Austrian artist reaches his adulthood, age 21. His name is Adolf Hitler. That same year is cited as the year that Hitler reaches his worldview and the fury against the Jewish people crystallizes. The museum to, build the, to house the altar will take 20 years to build. During that time, the altar of Zeus, throne of Satan, will reside in Berlin. During that time, Berlin and Germany would play a central role in bringing about the greatest destructive event in history up to that time, World War I. And in that same time, during the time the altar was in Berlin, a house is built for it, Germany would be transformed into a satanic nation. And around it, around would rise a satanic movement, in the most satanic movement in world history, Nazism. Nazism is infused with darkness from the beginning. And not only the darkness of hate, 
but the darkness of the occult. There was a society called in Germany the Thule Society. It was an occult organization, occult. It believed in the myth of the Aryan race superiority, influenced by the German mystic named Guido von Liss, whose goal was to build a pagan temple to the Teutonic god Wotan. The Thule Society was also in a war against the Jewish people. That, that's, that occult society would give birth to another organization that was called the Nazi Party. The Nazi Party, one of its members of this occult organization named Anton Drexler, starts a political party that would become the German's Worker Party, the National Socialist Party, Nazism. Soon after he founded this occult, soon after he founded, a young man shows up, joins it, Adolf Hitler, and would ultimately take it over. The Thule Society had adopted an ancient occult symbol from Hindu mysticism called in Sanskrit the swastika. From this occult organization comes the Nazi swastika. There is a day on the Hebrew calendar noted by the rabbis as the day of the first attempt to annihilate the Jewish people. It was the day that Pharaoh, in a satanic fury, races his chariots toward the sea to destroy Israel. The date is reckoned by the rabbis as Nisan 19. Nisan 19, the date that commemorates the first attempt, really, of, of who? Pharaoh of the enemy. To annihilate the Jewish people, on that same Hebrew day, Adolf Hitler was born. Now, I said that the altar of Zeus had been sent back to Berlin in pieces. Its reconstruction, Satan's throne, is completed in the year 1889. In that year that it was completed, Satan's throne, Adolf Hitler was born. The one who would become the darkest vessel of Satan's purposes was born the same year that the throne of Satan was completed in Germany. So the first time it was resurrected since ancient times. He's born on the, the, the day, the Hebrew day commemorating the first attempt to annihilate the Jewish people and in the year of the completion of Satan's throne. And it would be as if now everything would progress until the time that that baby or that life would then would come and you have the throne you have the the the, the altar or the throne of satan in berlin it would progress until until that life that that hitler would come to berlin they would come together and he would take his place in berlin from the year 1910 on